Yeah, hi folks, uh, we're here in Liverpool tonight and uh, this is the last leg of our four day trip around the country. Uh, we've been on the way forward meetings. Um, very good evening tonight. Nick, uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what we've been doing over the last few days? Yes indeed. Um, we started off down in the South West for the meeting in Bristol uh, for the uh, South West people and South Wales. Uh, moved on to uh, London, South East and Eastern for a second session. Uh, last night up to a meeting of the East and West Midlands. Uh, today we were here for people from North Wales and from uh, the, the southern part of the, the North West. Good turnout from here. Uh, and then uh, over the next week or so we've got uh, a meeting plan for Yorkshire. Uh, one for the, the north of England for uh, the North East, your patch mm. and Cumbria. And then later on after that again the Scots have got a, a smashing venue sorted out and we've, we've got a, a number of people coming over from our really active teams now in Northern Ireland. So we're doing Scotland and Northern Ireland at that. So, I mean, you, you, you talked there just about the meetings alone. I mean, we've been doing other things, haven't we, during the days? We're not, we're not just uh, yes, lazing indeed. around oh, during we're not the day. not lazing around, uh, as well as, you know, obviously, while um, uh, travelling. You know, plenty of plenty of work while travelling. Uh, several bits of activity. Uh, a great session. Where were we? Enfield, wasn't Enfield, it? Enfield, yeah. Uh, North London the other day. That was a really good session uh, out in the streets. Uh, a piece outside the uh, police station in Liverpool where... Uh, Peter Tierney had some pretty serious problems uh, a couple of weeks ago. I think that's going on the website separately. Uh, so, yeah, we've been out and about and active. Uh, I've had a number of meetings, uh, really, with my Euro hat on, uh, with little tiny groups uh, talking about energy issues, wind farms, things like that. There's some really big issues building up. The devastation of our countryside uh, and some hideous technologies coming in. Uh, and it's very important. It's part of our environmental committee work. Uh, it's really taking off that. I'm very pleased with it. Uh, there's a lot more to come from that in due course. But as you know, a combination uh, from morning till the end of the night. What's the time now? We're talking here 10 past 11. Yeah. We've just finished a you know, very constructive meeting. Uh, so um, it's, it's non-stop and it's really good to be on the road. Um, the way forward, I mean, we've been asking people what, what they think is, uh, are, are good ideas for the way forward. And yeah. We've also been asked, uh, asked them to give input on various other things as well. And it appears that... Uh, the, 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 the issues people have aren't that major really, they just seem to be little <coughs> silly yeah, things sure. that can be yes. worn out. Uh, well, it, it, it might be silly to us and they're minor, but they're very important to people. Mm. But you know, if you think back you know, about a year ago, there were some, some really serious issues. You know, everyone was saying, realised, you know, we've got to close an administration system in Belfast and bring it to the UK, you know, bring it to England. You know, that's a huge huge operation, you know, that's been done you know, planning for a really big election uh, and uh, Clive Jefferson National Treasurer announced here tonight the first meeting has been told that as of today we paid every single bill from this election uh, that's uh, about £50,000 it's all paid for, it's all sorted out, as far as I know well, there's never been an election in the history of this party or for the matter of its predecessor where within one month of an election everything's paid for I remember in the, uh, the 2005 um, four or five Euro election, uh, we had a hangover of that from 18 months. We still owed money. You know, we spent about £50,000. It's all been raised, it's all been paid for, and at the same time we've been you know, managing the previous debts and getting the previous debts down. So there's a lot of really good stuff, and people need to understand how much has been done. So over this session of meetings, we've been having the biggest single complaint uh, that's come up is problems with the party email system. Compared with what we had last year, it's a minor problem, but for organisers and fund holders and officials and so on, it's a really serious problem. It's come out really how serious it is. We are going to sort it out. So we've got, as you know, a significant list, generally the same things that come up, a significant list of gripes and problems and worries, which we'll simply go through, we'll deal with them, we'll tick them off, we'll get them done, we'll get them put right. And the good news is we've got an even bigger list, as you know, of good ideas and help and tweaks for ideas that we've been putting forward centrally, of ways in which we're going to make things better yet for this party. Uh, obviously, a key part of it being that psychologically we've had too many eggs in the election basket, and when for external reasons 
uh, and particularly the fact there's a, a Labour Party bounce and they've had five years to see us coming in you know, the key wards where we had a bloody nose in electoral terms, that's the time when we need to seize this opportunity to say to people who have been frankly fixated on elections, elections have a really important role. And if we build our election teams and the techniques we've now got, you know, and spread that, spread the techniques and the really top level, we'll go, we'll win elections. Yeah, we won seats in this election. People have forgotten that. We've won seats, we've taken seats off the Tories in this election. But most of all, just at present, this is the moment of opportunity to seize so that people who've been thinking one trick, one thing, elections, get the understanding we're not a political party, we're a political movement. We're a movement of national rebirth. We're a national revolutionary movement in a non-violent, sensible, deeply practical way. And there's so many other things that we can be doing to get our message across to help our people, which aren't directly electoral, which will feed into electoral success in due course and other advances for publicity and recruitment. But uh, you know, it's really exciting to have so many good ideas. Uh, I'm not promising we're going to put every single one of them into practice, certainly quickly. You know, we're small staff, we've downsized, we're living within our means, but there's some really good ideas that we'll get into practice pretty quickly, and I believe we're going to have a really fun summer, and a good summer, and a productive summer, and a summer where we grow. Excellent. Thank you very much for that, Nick. As you can see, folks, it's all buzzing here, and we're definitely moving forward together. Thank you for watching.